What's up, YouTube? Hudson Fan 15 back with another mail day. Uh, this one is a little bit weird, so stick with me. Um, a couple years ago, I think this is right during one of my foray, if very brief forays into trying to deal on trading boards. I got an email from someone looking to unload a bunch of different Tim Hudson cards, primarily pre-2004 stuff. And we didn't really see eye to eye on the terms, uh, prices exactly, and so deal never got done. It's doing decent enough stuff, but just not uh, enough for me to really press it and, and keep going after it. So after going back and forth with a few emails, we just agreed to disagree and moved on. So last week I get this message from an address that I didn't really recognize, but the the verbiage on the uh, email made me raise an eyebrow that uh, you know this wasn't just some random spam thing. And so we he was basically saying I've got a couple of Hudson one on ones, and do you want to work on a deal? So. We we start talking price. We're close, but I you know still uh, I wanted my terms, and he asked me about a card in my bucket, and he's like, I know that it's PC for you, um, but what is the serial number on it? And I tell him what the serial number is, and and I asked him, does that have any special meaning to you? Because to me, generally speaking, I. The whole 15 of whatever, I'm not going to pay a premium for it. If I can land it, great, awesome, whatever. And he's like, yeah, it does. Um, it's Mark Mulder's jersey number, and that's who I collect. Okay. So he said, I will agree to your price if I send you the exact same card, just a different serial number, and you send me yours. Okay. Sure. Works for me. So, uh, on he's on the bench, and he's on Sports Card Forum as Mark Mulder 20 He does have a YouTube account that he says he's not active at all on, and that's and my writing is terrible. Nerd Herd 20 Yeah, that's that's an N in front. I was writing very quickly. A uh, Nerd Herd 20 His name is Brian. So I'm gonna ask that everybody go and check your, uh, you know, for trade for sale boxes, etc. Anything Mark Mulder, primarily stuff that was his jersey number, uh, 20 of whatever in an A's uniform, 30 of whatever in a Cardinals uniform. Uh, that is what he is fixing on uh, and focusing on at the moment. Uh, and, of course, uh, anything that he doesn't have. He's got something to the tune of 1,139 unique Mark Mulder cards. So I thought that was pretty impressive. Uh, comes with just the teeny tiniest note I can come up with. Uh, thanks, Tom. Take care, Brian. There we go. Concise to the point. So here are the three cards from his half of the deal, and I did ship out mine uh, today. Um, the first card is a 2010 Bowman Chrome uh, yellow printing plate of Hudson. So, stoked to get that. And card number two is uh, 2012 Allen and Ginter uh, Magenta. One of one. A little mini framed action going on there. Always like those. And then the cards that we swap, so this marks one of the exceptionally rare occurrences that uh, a, a Hudson card will leave my collection but for good reason um, so that he could have the the 20 of 50 that I had possessed and I don't even remember when I got that card if, if there was if the 20 of was in the listing I, I, I don't I don't remember all the circumstances around it but regardless uh, this one is 44 of 50 2003 Donruss signature series incredible Triple uh, Zito Mulder Hudson.
So, I uh, wanted to give Brian his own video. Uh, I'm going to put in the title, um, Looking for Mark Mulder. Uh, or I'll just put the I'll put the user ID the Mark Mulder 20 in there, and I'm sure you, know, you guys will have figured out who that is, and, and and you probably already before this video is even over, you're probably already looking for for stuff if you think you have it. So um, either contact him if you're on the bench or SCF. I don't know that I would go through YouTube. I am gonna put that link in the description box. Uh, you might not get the response. If you find something and you're unable to contact him through those forums, let me know. I'll contact him via email because I do have his direct email address. And uh, I will uh, at least get the ball rolling to help facilitate uh, a deal for you because uh, you know, that's what we're about in this community. So I want to thank Brian uh, very much for coming to, the, to me with these. I am uh, ecstatic to get two more one of one, so it's a three one of one day for me. And uh, really, really excited, and uh, I want to thank you uh, again for uh, bringing those to my attention and uh, us getting a deal done. All right, YouTube, peace.